Do you hate your boss? Because I do. I'm joking. I'm joking. Nobody hates their boss here. We're all good, loyal, hardworking employees. But let's be real here. I think all of us can sort of relate to being in a tough working environment sometimes having a bit of what's a nice word um animosity maybe towards your boss or your working environment which is why today we're having a look at the subreddit called anti-work which i think is all about memes about a tough working culture or a bad boss or whatever so let's just dive in and enjoy good evening I was reviewing the cameras from our shift today and noticed that you were sitting on a stool for the majority of your shift. This is completely unacceptable behavior and we will be discussing it tomorrow before the shift. Okay, so this is text between the boss and the OP right here. I cleared it with the team lead. Let's call them Bob. I have two broken oh well, I have two broken bones in my left foot, doctor documented. Aside from that, I packed 240 plus UPH for the entirety of my shift. I don't know what UPH is, but I guess that's like what they do at their job. 12 full hours. I'm not sure if you're aware, but we do have a rank list for packing displayed directly above our stations. My efforts earned me first place today. Hell yeah, congrats. So just to be clear, my impressive performance was overshadowed by the fact that I wasn't uncomfortable enough while doing it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, wow. So I guess the boss was confused why um, this person was sitting when they could still do their job sitting down, which makes sense to me. Like, why would I do a job without being comfortable? So I'm on the OP side right here. I'm really not appreciating your attitude. You could just have said the first part where it was cleared with another lead instead of being disrespectful. This type of behavior isn't going to get you anywhere here. My guy, dude, I mean, like, you were kind of a bit mean at the beginning, too. So, hey, man, if you give some, you gotta take some, too. Hey, thanks for wasting my precious off time with some garbage you didn't bother to investigate beforehand. Oh, uh, let's go, let's go. He's, this OP's digging in right now. Seriously, 240 plus UPH, what you claim to be the pinnacle of performance there, I achieved it, and I got grief because I was sitting while doing it. You guys need to get your priorities straight. It is no wonder that you have such difficulties retaining staff. I'm not concerned with going anywhere there. It's a toxic environment with ignorant people at the helm. I won't be in tomorrow or ever again. We don't need to rush you leaving. Ah, here we go. Okay. So now OP is clearly done with this job. I get it. Fully understand if you have a crappy boss and a crappy work environment who doesn't recognize your achievements. They're about to leave, and then now OP's like, let's talk about it right now. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Let's talk about it in the morning, and we can sort this out. No thanks. Have a good life. Let's go. I I, I know what this person feels like, though. I, I know what it's like to feel like you're putting in a good days of work and have your boss still not recognize you for it. I've definitely been, been in jobs like that in the past, it's frustrating. It's annoying. There's no point doing a job which you just hate. Let's go. Who's the boss now? Where are you at? Question mark. You told Mark you could work night shift tonight. No, I did not. I told Mark I wouldn't work Monday. You told him you wouldn't work in the morning, but you could work normal hours. Ah, uh, as you know, I found out yesterday my dad passed away. I'm going to go ahead and at least take the one day I get a week off to mourn his death. Oh man, this, 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 this one's already a sad one, dude. I am so sorry for any inconvenience this will cause you. My uncle died a few days ago. I lost my grandma. Stop being a victim. Mail me my check, I quit, and go F yourself. Dude, 100%, man. Like, this is what I kind of struggle with sometimes. I don't get, when you become a boss, a part of you has to be empathetic towards people. I find that the best bosses, the best managers, the best leaders I've ever had in my life, in my short professional career, don't get me wrong, they've always just been able to relate with you. And they've always been able to just, you know, I don't know how to, how to describe it, but yeah, it's just, I guess just, just being a human, like a, like, a, like a good person, you know? 
this is like this is this is a crazy one man like stop being a victim your employee's dad just passed away which is hard anybody like you know a family member and just brushing it away like this is yeah pretty insane yeah oh, man this one's kind of a gross one not gonna lie i'm glad this person quit though um yeah get out of there man like who what's the point of being working under someone who just doesn't care who just doesn't care about you or you know what's important to you so yeah let's go get out of there about three years ago i used to work as a videographer doing social media content for a seven figure company I was paid roughly just better than minimum wage and was cranking out at one point 50 videos a day? What? I was freelancing and was on a loose contract. I was desperate for the money. I guess this person, yeah, I guess if it's social media content, it would have been all like shorts and um, reels and stuff on TikToks. It was an insane amount of work and however I managed to do it for six months is beyond me, especially for how crappy I was paid. The office was an incredibly bitter and snide place, and it was clear that management would purposefully steer crap up to watch staff fight as a form of entertainment. I kept well away from it, but it was incredibly stressful on top of the video work. Man, I hate that, dude. Like, I hate offices that are just toxic from the get-go. You know what I mean? Especially if uh, management, like, purposely do this just for their entertainment. It's, it's just gross, man. Like, as an employee, I want to feel safe. To do work, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to be in your drama, dude. I just want to go there, get paid, and get out. After about six months, I pitched to the higher ups that my videos are making an insanely positive difference to their sales. Let's go. I showed them graphs of interactions and direct links to sales on the website via my content, and asked for a pay raise. I compared my ideal salary to others in the industry and made a big deal about how it would still be less than I should be paid. However, I still wanted to continue working for them. I was fired hours later for. I blank you not for not pulling my weight, as well as not having the desired effect they wanted on social media. Wow, that's that's insane. I was fuming and now unemployed. I struggled for months to find any other job. Today, years later, whilst browsing a very old Google Drive account, I found that said company was still using a folder I created and own. They were mostly active in the files containing templates, adjustment layers, presets, and even a video that and even video that I all created. Over 18 people were actively using it daily to continue with their social media campaigns. This was a cloud service that I was paying monthly for as I wanted extra space for my work. <laughs> wait, wait, what? Wait, this is crazy. This was a cloud service that I was paying monthly for? So were you just act, like, were you just paying for their Google um, Drive, like, extra memory or whatever damn crazy yeah like this is insane the company would even does like does that 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 they didn't just use their own credit card or their own funds why why, why, why are you paying for it this is my drive and my work hell yeah i own it so i copied the files as a local version for myself and then deleted the online version <laughs> legendary dude Tomorrow, they will wake up with none of their video assets, including things they are working on. F them. Hell yeah, dude. Oh god, now I need to update us. I can't wait to hear the follow-up. I'll update the post if I hear further. I am weirdly excited to hear from them. Oh, I don't think there's an update one. But that's crazy, man. Yeah, good on you. I mean... <laughs> Actually, I, I, I don't know. Like, I, I, I think it's kind of a bit crazy to do it years later. But... I get it, man. Like, when you're putting in this much hustle into a job, just to, again, like, a similar thing of just not being recognized for it, it's annoying, and, and you want to take revenge on your bosses sometimes. This is kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of crazy. Um, to do it years later, I wonder if they ever figured out if it was you who deleted all this content, but, oh, man, that's, this is pretty funny. I, I, I like, I like this one. Whoa, whoa this is... <laughs> F you Pepsi, but only if you're willing to be a Pepsi family wedding um, season. Oh, it says I do. <laughs> it says, oh, I was so confused what it was saying on the emojis. I was like, oh, it says I do. A Pepsi family, LMFAO. My father worked for you for your bottling company for 25 plus years. You fired him after denying to extend his leave while he was undergoing chemo. 
Oh man, these, these are just depressing, dude. I guess to avoid paying out insurance, he died a few months later. F you and Pepsi families. That's a brutal one, man. Yeah. All right. Let's find one more to end on. <laughs> Again, this is this is this is this is, this is a high note. I like this one to end to end it off on. It's our hilarious intern's last day. He's autistic and a super straight shooter. My VP asked him in front of everyone on his way out, you gonna miss this place and the people at all? And he said, um, no, and walked out. Boom, my guy dropped the mic. Yep, that's a good, that's a good, good one to end on. Let's go. Lesson learned here, be a good boss and your employees are gonna treat you right. Treat your employees right, then they're not gonna screw you over, all right? But easy, easy to run a company. Boom, call me the CEO today. <laughs> I'm joking. I would probably like be the downfall of a company. I'm I, I'm not a good manager by any means. Um, but I'm deaf. But if I was a manager, I'd definitely be a better manager than a bunch of these people on this subreddit. Crazy. If you like this video, drop a like down below. Smash that subscribe button. And thank you. Thank you for watching this video. Being a valued viewer of this channel. This is my second video on this channel, and we're just here to have a good time. That's the community I want to build. Just reacting to fun memes, reacting to fun content online, and just having a break from this crazy world we live in. So thank you so much. Let me know in the comments down below what other stuff you want me to react to. I'm game for anything. Thank you very much. Easy. Easy to run a company. Boom. Call me the CEO today.